Hi, my name is Martin Tall, and today I'd like to give you a short demo of the uh, open source eye tracker that we've been working on. So I'm going to start off here by showing some features of the interface. We have three buttons here on the right, and I'm going to go into the setup here. You'll notice a number of tabs here on the top that uh, will, in various ways, configure the tracking engine. The first option here is to set the mode of operation. We can have a head-mounted setup where we locate the center of the pupil. Uh, we can do a remote monocular tracking where we use the uh, locations of the glints in combination with the center of the pupil. We can also do the full remote binocular where we track both eyes and this is beneficial because we can average the gaze samples uh, to provide a more accurate uh, tracking. We also have the advanced tab where we can go in and tweak the uh, settings for the tracking algorithms. So if we change the visualization mode to processed, you can see how changing the sensitivity for the algorithm will adjust the uh, search area for the pupil. Uh, you can also uh, change the minimum and maximum size of the pupil here. The same goes for the glints, where you can change the threshold to optimize the search. Now, in this window, we will select that we have two infrared light sources and we will place them according to the physical setup that limits the algorithms to search within a specific uh, locations. And you can activate the automatic optimization of the algorithms by clicking the checkboxes here. By hovering on the uh, main video window here you can see that we're tracking at 178 frames per second utilizing 12 percent of the CPU and a total of 181 megabytes of RAM. So I like to do a calibration now and uh, I want to do a nine point calibration with random order at a dark gray background with white points. And then you click the calibrate button. Now uh, nine points will be displayed with this animated transition. It's during this uh, calibration procedure that we collect information of the pupil center and location of the glints and we create a mapping between a number of on-screen positions and the eye. Now you can see that the uh, red dots indicate the left eye and the blue dots the right eye. And the uh, spread here indicates that we have uh, poor tracking in the upper left corner. So simply by clicking on the calibration dot, we can resample for that point. And this will improve the accuracy. Okay, we can see now that we have an accuracy of uh, 0 0.3 on the left and 0 0.4 on the right. Uh, this is based on a 600 millimeter distance from the screen. We can either do a recalibration here or we can share the calibration results on a community server or we can simply accept and continue. In the setup here we can activate a function to drive the uh, mouse cursor with our eye movements. It's also an option to smooth that here. But starting here, uh, it will redirect the mouse cursor to uh, the estimated gaze position. Another thing we can do is to launch the network client. Uh, so I'll go into the setup and turn on the uh, data and command server. Now we can uh, connect to the uh, network server and you can see that it's uh, streaming the gaze coordinates here in real time. So this is 170, 160 something samples per second that we're getting here. And you can use this uh, API to uh, your own applications.